Joey Davila is a self-proclaimed legendary PERMA student who was supposed to graduate with the class of science in 1991, but instead got his degree in 94. That didn't stop him from reuniting with his former science classmates and marching in the Queen's Alumni Parade. A university is not a collection of buildings and classrooms and lecture halls. It really is the people from the professors to, you know, my, fe uh, my fellow students. Davila is just one of about 3,000 people who registered to take part in this year's homecoming festivities. So all alumni that graduated in a year ending in one or six are celebrating a reunion this year. So we have folks back from as early as 1946. George Jackson is an 85 grad. He says the atmosphere during homecoming is too electric to pass up. The tricolor spirit is pervasive uh, and it's been around for 175 years, it really has. Uh, and it's just as strong as ever. Although the tradition of homecoming has been going on since the 1920s, this is the very first year that the alumni parade marched here to Richardson Stadium for the first homecoming in the revitalized venue. The game kicked off with a special ceremony. The family of former Gales coach, the late Doug Hargraves, was honored with a unique painting, while Ontario's Lieutenant Governor Elizabeth Dowdswell presented the game ball. Whether it's the rowdy crowd at Richardson Stadium or the enthusiastic dance moves on University Avenue, different generations of Queen students past and present say the tricolor spirit never fades. And that message is heard loud and clear. Heather Centerin, CKWS Newswatch, Kingston.